Good day from WA. Hi, this is Julie. Welcome to my channel. And today we're just going to go very quickly through the Antiquarian sticker book because I had done a review of some other books and this one had not arrived and I promised that I would do this one once it arrived. If you haven't seen this book yet, then um, I'm going to go through every page and also tell you what I like and what I don't like about this book. It says it has over 1,000 exquisite Victorian stickers. Most of the other books, well, all the other books I've shown you didn't were not sticker books. Uh, there's a few of these. This one's by Odd Dot, and there is, they seem to do one called Bibliophilia, which I have not seen a flip through of that. And there is also the Botanist stick book, Sticker Book, but it's not by Odd Dot, but it has just flowers. So there's two or three of these types of sticker books. It's a gorgeous little book. I mean, it's quite got a quite a nice uh, fat spine. It's a beautiful book. It feel, it's actually quite heavy. It says here that it's $24.99 in the US. $33.99 in Canada. I think I paid around about $30. It's currently $27. It changes depending on, um, you know, differences in the Australian dollar and that kind of thing uh, by Odd Dot. But it is available on Amazon most of the time. So, you know, fairly easy to, to uh, find. Um, gorgeous book <laughs> uh, that would make a gorgeous journal wouldn't it you know journal cover i would love to use this it does feel really nice as a book it's got lovely end pages so yeah definitely uh, could be used as a journal cover once you've finished using all the stickers so i'm just going to well i'm going to turn to the first page and let you know what i think about it so the pages seem to be different colors so this one's like a beige color and that one i turned to was a pinkish color and so when you get the sticker it does have a little bit of a border let's just have a look um, a little bit of a border which for me excuse my painty fingers it's um, mixed media Friday so I've just been painting I've just tried to scrub my fingers and it doesn't come off a little bit of a border I would probably cut that closer but uh, I got this book for mum or this is this is mine but I got one for her because uh, mum likes mum wanted stickers and she doesn't like fussy cutting. I haven't used it yet, so I can't tell you how sticky they are, but you might want to put some uh, glue, uh, glue stick on them as well to help make sure they stick down. They're lovely and matte. And of course, it's antiquarian vintage, so you're not going to get, you know, really modern things. Um, doesn't seem to be photographic, I don't think. We'll have a look, but um, I think it's mostly um, drawn or illustrated images. And it's lovely and matte. So very, very good. Great. Gorgeous. <laughs> a big negative is there's a mishmash. So on this page, you've got whatever that is. I'm not too sure. Butterflies, plants, flowers. I don't know. They coral or weird flowers. Hands, eggs, a head. And whatever that is. Patterns. I mean, I think Victorian art sometimes was quite quirky. You know, a strawberry. So if you're looking for a strawberry for your Marguerite Villa collage, if you can't remember which page it's on, you're going to struggle to find it. You've got to go through all these pages. So no index, no um, idea, no page numbers, short of, you know, going through and writing down. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. So have fun you're going to have fun looking through looking for the image that you know you saw so it's each page is backed by so once you've finished using the stickers you'll have this page left over which is quite pretty but of course you'll end up with hundreds of them again a lovely matte page so very pretty you could make a whole journal out of just these pages probably interesting quirky images some pretty images um, but yeah struggle to find the ones that you that you're looking for um <laughs> <laughs> flowers and a funny fish and a lady floating on a dress or a cushion I'm not too sure and, and you've got a couple of owls, owls and a beetle and a sunflower and then these interesting people but they, they are beautiful images I mean they're all you know illustrated from the as I say the Victorian era where they had this kind of this was the way they drew things so yeah just some pretty images Looks like there's plenty of butterflies. If you're a fan of butterflies like I am, I'm pretty. I hadn't realised there were so many butterflies. And then you know, unusual images, <laughs> cute images. And then there's a tree stump. If you're looking for a tree stump, I mean, how are you going to remember it's on this page? 
but um, I guess you're just going to flick through every time you want something and see what jumps out at you. Seems to be lots of pictures of hands. I'm not sure why that is. Um, but flowers, a few, and a few strawberries. If you need a strawberry, this is the place to come. Oh, that's a cute image. More butterflies. Don't know what that is. Looks like a brain. Feathers. Um, I don't know, but yeah, just unusual decorative images. Ooh. But I can't even bear to look at it. <laughs> It's got a ladybird. If I want my ladybird, I'm going to have to... Do you know what? I'm just going to get rid of it. I just I just don't want it. If you like me and you don't like it, I'm just going to throw it away. I don't need it. I don't... I don't, I don't like them. I mean, I, I don't like the beetle. I won't use it. But it doesn't horrify me every time I see it. But I do have a bit of a phobia of giant spiders. So we now have a space. <laughs> you know, I'm never going to use it on a project. It would horrify me to have that on a project. Okay. Moving on. Pretty, pretty images. <laughs> They're really cute. Um, you know, Marguerite Miller says two of something. That's a really quirky, interesting looking penguins playing a children's game. That will be, what's that one? Uh, oranges and lemons. So the bells of St. Clement's. I used to love that. I guess a lot of the things we did were, were from the Victorian era. Old English sort of rhyme games. Yeah, interesting images on there. It takes a while to take in all the different images that are on the page. So these are really pretty. You could use these as labels on your, one of your journals. Quirky looking fish. I just love it because it's not shiny. There's a sun. It's hard to find sun. So if you're looking for a sun, there's a two in, uh, two that I know of in this book. So I've just seen them on, uh, on the CW40 planner videos. Um, I didn't have this book when I, when I did it. Yeah, cute, quirky images. I'm taking it a little bit longer. I may have to um, speed it up. So I'm, I'm just sort of having a look while I'm turning the pages because each page has, you know, totally different images. You really kind of have to look to see what's on there. So if you want playing cards, there's some cute images there. And gargoyles I wouldn't necessarily want to use. Oh, yes. Uh, no, I don't know which who it was that used these. I watch all of the Marguerite Miller videos, but then I don't remember which one did what. Oh, Gail, I think Gail Agostinelli. She used the um, these three at these three furry well dog. I think she said one was a coyote. I think she said that was a coyote because I wouldn't know. It looks like a fox to me, and a and a dog. She used those on her project and the sun, the other and another sun. So, yep, a few people got this book out this week. I noticed. <laughs> Oh, I guess they're stockings. I thought there was... Yeah, okay. We used to put Christmas stockings up. Yeah, lots of quirky images. Gosh, I hope I haven't checked. I hope I was in frame for all of this. <laughs> Annoying if I wasn't. Yeah, lots of lots of interesting images, but they're matte and they're just... So they're just lovely. They are, they are really nice. I love these clocks. And then you get this weird thing. Three heads. Marguerite Miller Ivor asks you for a lady with three heads. This is where you come. More beetles. Oh, another sun. It's a different one. What's that? A wombat? Koala? Some Aussie animals. And then you get this one. And then you get this one, which is kind of unusual. Yep, if you want quirky, this is the place to go. Penguins. That's a nice bird. Oh, no, I'm sorry I'm taking too long. Um, I might have to speed it up. Because we've got a lot of pages to go. Patterns. Now, these ones are interesting. You would think it would be a full page. But I remember when Marta was doing this on Mar Mar her Marimi Small Art, they're actually um, I don't know why they did this. I'd rather have a whole sheet and then I'll cut it up how I want. But it's a sticker. I don't know what shape it is. Yeah. I have to take the whole thing out to find out what shape it is. It's the shape of a bear. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the shapes are, so that'll be a surprise for you if you buy the book. Um, skeletons. At least they're all, at least it's a whole page of skeletons and not flowers and butterflies mixed in. Kind of a strangely drawn wombat. If it is a wombat. I don't know if it's, I mean, then you get something like that weird. 
Draw another little sun there. You could probably look through this book um, quite a few times and still find new images you hadn't noticed. And some that you'll like and some that you won't. <laughs> so that's different. Plenty of butterflies. Whole page of mushrooms. You must well tear that page out, Mum, give it to me because you said you don't like mushrooms. <laughs> Corals and things. And then in the middle of the flowers, bugs and pretty ladies. I must remember there's some pretty ladies in here because I want to do a, a lovely ladies journal. Fish, flowers and fruit. Did anybody else play fish, flower, fish fruit, flower game? I found it used to play fish fruit flower all the time. It's that uh, guessing game where you have to think of a something beginning with a certain letter and you have a list of things, fish, fruit, flower and all that kind of thing. We used to play that all the time in our family. <laughs> Just, yeah. Um, cats. A cat page. Some more owls. There's quite a few nice owls in here. Some lovely, some lovely florals. Interesting peacock. Yeah, I don't know what their um, theory was as to what they put on each page, just what fits or making it aesthetically even. But personally, I'd rather have a page of butterflies and a page of people and a page of bugs. You know, like the um, cutout and collage is at least fairly grouped. It's not perfect, but it is fairly grouped. Now, if I was looking for an autumn leaf, I mean, it would take me ages to find these two autumn leaves, wouldn't it? So that is a, a big negative. I mean, it's nice to look through it, but sometimes you just don't have the time to look through every page uh, to find the one you want. So that was the sun that everybody was using. Um, well, not everybody. I saw it two or three times <laughs> used on the uh, CW40 Planner Week, my Greek Miller Week. But I didn't have the book. There's a few squirrels in the, in the book. It's three or four so far. Plenty of butterflies. I don't suppose bats are very popular at the moment. They're gorgeous. Look at those. Lovely. You know, if you want to use that on your... And then have a nice image in the centre. As that comes out. Yeah, you get to use that. And you can put something in there. Pretty flowers. Ooh, not keen on that page. Another one with cutouts. Just use it as decorative elements. I would, yeah, Mr. Odd Dot. I would just prefer a full page and I could use it as a, a whole page sticker. It's a piece of carpet by the looks of it, tapestry or something. And then I would, um, you know, use the whole page or cut it up as I want. Anyway. Some more unusual images. So if you don't like unusual and quirky, it's probably not the book for you. Um, lots of butterflies on that page. And they're nice. They're, they're different. They're bright. They're colourful. Um, yeah, I like those. Patterns. Sort of, um, that's, what's that pattern called? Is that um, Art Nouveau style? <laughs> don't know. I should know, but I don't. And then pageantry type people. Hmm. <laughs> Kangaroos. Shoes. Oh, butterflies. There seems to be butterflies on almost every page, so <laughs> plenty of butterflies. That's a nice, well, I don't like the snakes, but <clears throat> a few nice things seen him before see uh, um oh he's in the um things to cut out and collage yeah because i mean they're all images that are um copyright free so because all these images are well over 100 years old and they've been used in multiple places sometimes you see the same images turning up very strange looking monkeys 
yeah some of the art from that period was a bit a bit odd not my cup of tea so again oh yes that was um oh who did this one sue i think from art craft and journals aussie aussie sue i think she did that one it's reversed the other way though it was going the other way maybe there's another one oh and i saw camera was reversed hmm. strange i'm sure it was going the other way we'll see if there's another one but i i when i saw this one being used in the planner uh, on on the uh, marguerite miller i wonder what he was carrying um I hate to think <laughs> i don't know but i mean what's that a piece of prehistoric art like it's like it's got a kind of funny nose two little eyes and a little mouth i mean i don't know it's a bit weird and that's <laughs> it's a bit scary and scary these are good for people who like doing halloween there's another one there must be masks i think ancient masks mm. oh oh that's nice whole page of birds I was sure I looked through every page of this when I got it, but it's amazing. A, you forget. B, you can't remember it all because there's so many of them. There's, what did it say? Over 1,000. There's no way you could remember 1,000 images. So another mushroom, some bread. I mean, okay, food item. Bread would be quite nice to put in a vintage journal. <laughs> the brown colorings. See, like, I think that one's in... Uh, in the uh, things to cut out collage there's not very many double ups though but plenty of butterflies oh that butterfly's in that's one of, that's the green butterfly that's at the back where you get a whole page of them i think i used it recently or well, i was going to i can't remember if i did use it ended up with the smaller ones some more patterns a whole page of letters i think there's all the al alphabet okay ending with z so yes um macmillan publish it says no portion of this book may be reproduced without written permission of the publisher okay but if you if you want to find one particular image so now i know um there's that ape in there Let's see if i could find it i suppose you can flick through like this get an idea where he is i'm pretty sure he was further back yeah so that's the biggest downfall is if you know there's an image you want and it's it's in here somewhere it could take you a minute to find it <laughs> there he is so yeah less than a minute or if you don't but if you don't know where it is anyway and they're all different different colors so once you take them off you're going to have that color as the background so you're going to have the blue as a background on that one pink as the background on that one that could get annoying um, if you don't want that color so then you'll have to fussy cut the whole thing out so that is the only yeah there's a couple of negatives but uh, not enough to worry about um, it might have been better if they'd just done them all even though it's very pretty if they'd done them all in um, kind of a neutral color maybe something like that color you know might have been better so that um yeah it wouldn't be bright white um and uh if you're going to do antiquarian vintage type projects it might have worked better for that but all in all it's a gorgeous book you can't you can't really go wrong you know with you know that the, the quality i mean i can't print as nicely as this and every time i try to print something you know i get two or three good prints and then i get prints that i don't like or didn't work or i don't know printing is 
I have to say is annoying me. So I'm actually going more towards pre-printed items, you know, these sticker books and um, the books that I've previously shown you and there's others available. I, I think I'd really like the botanist version, which is full of florals. That's a really gorgeous book. You don't get as many images, I believe. I think Marta's done a review of that one too. So glad I got rid of the uh, unpleasant friend there. So now I can look for my butterflies and my flowers without having a heart attack every time I turn to that page. So, <laughs> see the snakes and the bugs don't bother me so much, but just that giant thing. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, we're done. Beautiful book. Um, very pretty page, some very pretty pages and pretty butterflies and birds and pretty flowers. Some unusual quirky images. Yeah, there it is. It's basically up to you if you think it's worth uh, somewhere between, well, Australian 27 to 30 dollars not the cheapest book but it is hard cover bound and if you make journals you can definitely um you know take the the block out and uh and use this use this as a journal it's just it's so nice it feels nice and it's gonna look nice on your bookshelf so lots of things to like about the book so that's it for this one let's finish here and i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching bye bye